The debate about conventional Western medicine versus complementary healing can become a very either or affair, with proponents on each side not really wanting to acknowledge much merit in the other. Dr. Leila Sabin doesn't see them as being mutually exclusive, and this has led her to follow a more holistic approach as Karishma discovered. A sense of tranquility pervades Dr. Sardin's practice and her rooms evoke an ambiance of healing as Karishma had discovered on an earlier visit. I am fascinated by the world of integrated medicine as I strongly believe that combining ancient holistic practices with modern medicine is the way forward. Dr. Leila Sardin is someone who shares my point of view and after a consult with her, I was fascinated and intrigued by her wealth of knowledge and her demeanor and I knew I wanted all of you to meet her too. Hello! Mm -hmm. So lovely to see you. So good to see you. How are you today? Good. good. You know I adore you and I can't wait to get to know you a bit better today. Should we take a seat? Yes. Have a seat. <laughs> Thank you, love. So I want to know everything. Let's start at the beginning. Tell me a bit about your childhood and what were you like growing up? I was a lonely child. I had a little brother, but we were we sort of lived different lives. And my parents were divorced, so there was a lot of trauma around that space for me. Having to work through the pain of childhood, of course, was you know fundamental stuff me to get to a point where I can be compassionate about other people's lives. Have you always been interested in medicine and healing? I think when it really began was sort of towards the end of school. I was so intuitive of other people's suffering. I either felt their suffering or felt a need to alleviate that. What was the turning point that made you change from modern medicine to a more integrated approach? When I graduated and went to work at Baraguanas in Soweto, I was faced with suffering. You'd be on call at night and every hour get up and have to certify a death. And when I looked around, the things that people were really ailing of, nobody was checking on. We knew that they didn't have the right diet. We knew they were stressed. We knew they were toxic. But that didn't seem to matter in that paradigm. So all that really we could do was feed them with more drugs. And then, you know, you'd see patients get better miraculously and then they'd be back again the next month. And for me, that was probably the first space where I went, mm, this doesn't work for me, there's got to be a better way of healing. Take me through your journey with integrated medicine and how has it changed your life? I developed a disease called cluster headache, which I inherited from my dad. Every year for a month, I would experience these headaches and there was no medical treatment that could help me. And so I started my own journey looking for alternatives to help. I found craniosacral therapy. Reiki was incredible. So for me, I started going, oh, there's something else out there. Then I started my own journey of studying these things and then found so much truth that resonated for me deeply that I couldn't ignore it any longer. Krishma, let me show you what it looks like in the room and then you can understand it a bit better. Love you. Yeah. Let's go. Come with me. Lena, tell me a bit about integrative medicine. When you look at a tree, the things you see most clearly are the leaves. And that is where we manifest our symptoms from. In treating the leaves of the tree, we don't really look at the leaf itself. We have to go deeper and get to the branch and then look under the ground into the roots of the tree. And when we treat at the roots, the whole tree gets better. Come with me. Flowing from a profound belief in the benefits of an integrated approach, Leila heads up a team that combines the skills of practitioners in a variety of fields, including Chinese medicine, Yunani Thib and reflexology. So I really like you to experience our vitamin drip. And if you think about it, you know, we try and absorb our vitamins through our food, but our guts are so, you know, they've, they've been through the mill in, in life really. And so most of the time we don't absorb all the food we're eating anyway. And when we take vitamin supplements, we either take inadequate supplements or we can't absorb the stuff we're taking. So when we give it to you intravenously, it goes straight into your bloodstream and does what it needs to do. What do you think makes your approach so unique? It's always looking at the patient holistically, always seeing what can we affect from their mind, their body and their energy space. How much of a role does lifestyle play when it comes to creating or healing a disease? It's almost everything. In medicine, certainly you get the treatment of an illness and the first things that are listed are all the drugs and kind of like in subscript at the bottom is lifestyle changes with functional medicine and integrated medicine that's reversed we first focus on what the patient can do for themselves at home and how they can shift some of the causes of why 
they've developed a dysfunction in the first place. I know you've got an amazing time waiver machine. I'm so excited to learn more. Would you mind showing me? Oh, let me take you to the time waiver and I can show you. I'd love that. Are we done here? Yeah, absolutely. Layla and her colleagues do their best to find a mode of treatment that suits the patient and this begins with determining the underlying cause of a condition rather than merely treating the symptoms. I am so intrigued by this technology. Can you tell me more about it? Yeah, of course. It's actually um, quantum physics, which has been around for a very long time. So quantum physics is the understanding that everything is matter and energy. And with a machine, we can start to diagnose patients as far as their energetic space goes. You know, when their energy is already starting to throw out of balance, that's when you're starting to develop the start of dysfunction in the physical matter, and then that's where disease eventually progresses from. So if we can catch it very early on, you know, that's really what preventative medicine is. How do we get started? Each of these colours represents a different chakra. When we look at them, as you interact with me and you're hearing the things I'm saying and you start to get stressed or relaxed or feel like you're in a loving space, the different chakras will open and close. Um, as we look at it now, we're looking at really great shifting all the time, so there's nothing that's really stuck all the time. Um, but if I do something like place my hand around your heart chakra, we can kind of watch that green grow bigger and bigger and maintain. Wow! And so that we can do for all the chakras and we can do some energy healing for a patient where we see that their chakras are really blocked. Well, Lena, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day. And thank you for your, your knowledge with me. Thank you so much.